Hello and welcome to the third video in the DB Rapper series. I'm hoping that throughout this series I get better at recording videos so I'm not stumbling on my words so much, but it's been a very long day and it's been a long time since I shot a video as many of you are aware. But if you hang in there, I hope this will be helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a couple methods. Now a method is pretty much a function, but it is part of an object that's created from a class. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a private function. It's only going to be accessible within this class, okay? And again, we're going to start that with... Uh, the first thing we're actually do is create a, con a construct, okay? Now a construct happens... See, it's two underscores here. Two underscores construct. This happens every time... Uh, and a, a class or an object is instantiated or created from this class. You can think of a class kind of like a blueprint, and the object is the actual object that is created from that blueprint. So the construct is the process of creating that object, and this fires right at the beginning of that as soon as you um, instantiate or create an object from a class. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and connect to our database. And in order to do this, we're going to go ahead and use a try catch block. Okay? So we have try and then catch. All right. And, oops, sorry about that. So what we're going to do is we are going to set our connection, set our uh, PDO um, property equal to our connection. So what we'll do to access that, we're going to say this uh, underscore PDO is equal to, um, and then we already have access to a class called PDO if it's installed, so we're going to say new PDO. Okay, and this actually gets three um, parameters here, okay? And th the first parameter is going to be our um, database engine, okay, and our host. And then what we're going to do is our database, I'm sorry, this actually gets four parameters, okay? The next one is going to be no, no, I'm, <laughs> excuse me, it does get three. So this is going to be, in the first parameter, it gets the database and the host, and it also gets the name of the database, okay? And then, then what we have is the username, uh, or the user, rather, for the, for the database, and then we get our password. Okay. Once we do all of this, um, this this will actually connect to our database, um, and then it'll try to connect to that. If that fails, it will do something with um, the error here. So let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Just go ahead and start here. So I'm going to use MySQL. So it's going the syntax be MySQL colon and then host. Equals. Now you could do localhost, but this is not really what you want to do with PDO because if you just put um, localhost or some some other domain here, um, PDO is actually pretty slow at that point because it has to do a DNS lookup, and you want to avoid the DNS lookup, so you want to go ahead and put the IP address here. So for on a local machine here, uh, mine is just 127.0.0.1. So go ahead and use um, use the IP address of the host to avoid the DNS lookup. Um, that will speed up your connection by a lot. Um, and then it gets a semicolon and a DB name. So I have a database set up that I've called contacts. Okay. And then it gets the user. So for me it's root on my local machine. And I actually don't have a password set up. You would have a password set up um, for a live environment for sure. So that's, that will actually create this new database object and it gets these parameters and it's going to set that object. So PD, this uh, private property P 
PDO will actually be our PDO object. Okay, it'll be stored here. So we'll have access to that for the rest of the object. So let's go ahead and look at the catch part of this try catch block. And we have another, uh, this is built in to PDO, but we have PDO exception. And then we're gonna go ahead and give, pass that to, um, you can do error or something like that. I'm just gonna do E. So catch PDO exception, set it to E. And then um, if there isn't uh, an exception there, we're gonna just kill uh, the page and we will do E, which is an object, right? And then get message, which is a method that's already created for us. We don't need to create this. So right now, uh, we have a construct. Um, most of the time, to go ahead and instantiate, uh, well, let's talk about instantiating instantiation in a minute. We're going to need another method. So first of all, hang with me because this opening part is the hardest part of creating this database wrapper probably, if you're not familiar with this. So it's just this try-catch block. Um, we're setting up the database connection. And if it, if it fails to set up that connection, we're going to grab the exec, exception um, here and set that to E, and then we're going to, that'll be an object. That exception will be uh, an object, and then we're going to use a predefined pre method on that object called getMessage, and that will give us the message of why this connection failed. So uh, what we need, other than this construct, since this is a singleton pattern, we need a way, if you notice this is private, we need a way to uh, get access to this object. So what we're going to do for that is create a public, and again, this is going to be a static method. So public static function, and we're going to call that get instance. Okay. All right. And what we're going to do in this is very simply, we're going to check if instance this, we're going to check if that's null. If it's null, we're going, to run, we're going to go ahead and instantiate the object and then set instance and then return it. If it is set already, we're just going to return it. So that's how we're going to keep this as a singleton pattern. We're not going to allow two um, objects to be created because um, we're storing that in this instance variable once it's created. And that is static. Um, so it's very simply to do this, we just do an if statement, and we're going to say if not is set. Um, and then what we're doing here is a static, to access a static variable, it's going to be self, colon, colon, dollar underscore instance. Okay? Um, that is going to check if this instance is set. So null, it won't be set. Alright? So if that's set, we're, um, or if it's not set, so it's just not right here. If it's not set, then we want to go ahead and set it. So self instance equals, and then what we're going to do is new db. Okay. So what this, if it's not set, it's going to set this instance equal. It's going to instantiate this object and set it to instance, okay? So after we do that check, we just want to return self instance. This right here, between this and this static method, is what makes this a singleton pattern. Um, it ensures that no second object can be created because if, if it is already set, it just returns it. If it's not set, it instantiates it. And by instantiation, I mean it's just new DB object. So we're just going to basically have it grab itself. Um, so anyhow, uh, I'm going to stop at this video. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, let me go ahead and go to the index page here. Let's get rid of our PHP info. All right. And let's go ahead and say db equals, um, well we need to include this, so a lot of times I use like an, um, an autoloader to load my classes, but 
Um, I'm just going to use a require once here, so filling up one one page. So I'm going to require um, db.php. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set db equal to, and then remember we have db, and it's a static method, so two colons, get instance. Okay. So this right here is the, oops, this is the method that we created in our db class, get instance. So it's going to set db equal to our database object. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and we didn't get anything on the screen so that means that we're probably good so let's break it on purpose to see if we get that exception um, I'm just gonna change the user here to Rue and you can see now that I have this SQL state this is that get message um, right, right here this PDO exception and we killed the page and we we're passing that message so that's this right here. It says access denied for user at localhost to database contacts. Um, it just means the connection failed because my credentials are not correct. So I'm going to put my correct credentials back in there. And with database connections, no news is good news. And so we are connected to the database now, which by the way, I'll just show that all I have in this database is one single table. And I just have a few columns set up, some var chars. We're going to make just use this for a, uh, a real simple contact thing, just for some example. Um, but in the next video, uh, what we're going to do is we are actually going to um, we're going to go ahead and build our query method and learn how to use it. So I can't wait for that video. We're actually going to be um, doing things with our database next. So I'll see you guys in the next video, and thanks for watching.